Hello and welcome to Moto News Now. Today we got a few stories for you, both in the U.S. and in the World Championship. Firstly, we have an update on Pro Circuit Kawasaki's Max Voland. Uh, then in the MXGP side of things, we have Honda HRC rider Ruben Fernandez, an injury update on him. And then finally, a health update on Brent Van Donink, the Jam Honda rider who lived through an MXGP horror story. I know that sounds weird, but you'll understand once you see it. All right, let's get into it. First, let me tell you about our sponsor, Blood Lubricants. Blood has premium oils and lubricants, everything from moto to basic engine oil for your daily driver. They have oil, chain lube, even bike wash. There's so much more on bloodlubricants.com. Not only do they make premium oil products for our sport, but they support our sport. They sponsor many privateers like John Short, and of course, they sponsored me. So go support them. Head to bloodlubricants.com. Use my code TMN25. Get 25% off oil, chain lube, site-wide, everything. So, all right, one final thing. I know I'm beating a dead horse, but issue number seven, I've only got a few copies left, and I want to sell these puppies out. So if you haven't bought one already, just go snag one. Let's get rid of these final copies, and let's get into this video. All right, let's start with Max Voland. At the beginning of the year, there were high hopes for this kid. All offseason, the rumors were that he was flying, and in round one, he showed that he had incredible speed. Uh, in a recent Instagram post, Max Voland shared details about his injury from January. Obviously, his season was cut a little bit short, getting hurt on uh, practice day. So after a promising start to the Monster Energy Supercross season, finishing fifth at the opener and 19th in the second round due to a mechanical uh, Volan suffered a hard practice crash during the week leading into the San Diego Supercross weekend. The accident resulted in a dislocated hip, which required surgery. Unfortunately, complications from the surgery have impacted Volan's recovery, forcing him to miss the remainder of the Supercross series. In his post, Volan expressed his desire to return to racing as soon as possible, although no specific date was mentioned. Max gave us an update in a post saying, quote, with Supercross moving back to the West Coast, I wanted to give everyone an update. In late January, I experienced a crash leading to a hip dislocation, which required surgical intervention to get it back in place. Complications from surgery have significantly hindered my recovery process. As a result, I am unable to participate in the remaining Supercross rounds. I am fully committed to my rehab and aim to return as soon as possible. I would like to thank all the fans and sponsors for their unwavering support during this time. Racing has its highs and lows, which is a part of the journey. I eagerly look forward to get back on the bike and race as soon as I'm able to. After racing with Red Bull KTM for three years, 2021 till 2023, Volan joined Monster Energy Pro Circuit Kawasaki with the hopes to get a fresh start, and it looked like it was going to turn out that way. Unfortunately, obviously it got cut short, uh, but he did have an impressive debut on the KX250, winning the second heat race of the night and battling for a podium position in the main event. Uh, with AMA Pro Motocross starting on May 25th, at the Fox Raceway National, we eagerly await Volan's return. I'm wishing him the best. This sucked to see. I was really looking forward to see what he had this year, but things happen, man. Uh, so, yeah, wishing him a speedy recovery and get back soon. All right, let's talk about an MXGP story. Ruben Fernandez, Team HRC's rider. He will not participate in the second round of the 2024 MXGP World Championship due to an ongoing leg injury that he sustained at the first round of the series in Patagonia, Argentina. Fernandez tore his ACL, and that injury was suffered in a first-turn crash during the qualification race in Argentina. This was a significant disappointment for Fernandez, as round two is his home GP, and he achieved a podium finish at the same event last year. He was eager to replicate that success in 2024. The decision has been made to proceed with surgery on Tuesday to address the issue with the goal of getting Fernandez back to full health and racing as quickly as possible. Fernandez shared the news on a social media post saying, quote, Unfortunately, I will not be racing in the GP of Spain as the knee injury I suffered in Argentina will require surgery. I tore my left leg anterior cruciate ligament. And although I did everything I could to get back on the bike, we have decided that surgery is the best option to get back to racing as soon as possible in the future. This setback is a stark contrast to his successful start of 2023, where he left MXGP of Argentina with a first-place trophy. Uh, it sucks to see. I'm obviously a huge fan of him. Most of you probably don't know this, but I interviewed... He was, I think, the first or second guy I ever interviewed back when he was a rookie in the MX2 class, and I told him he had something special. He just had something that most guys in the class didn't, and slowly but surely, he proved that. Uh, so I'm wishing him luck. And can't wait for him to get back on the track. 
All right, let's look at the final story of the day, an MXGP horror story. That's what I'm calling it. So, Jam Honda's Brent Van Donink, uh, he missed a lot of racing in 2023 with injury, but he hoped to turn that around in 2024. He made his MXGP return in Argentina for the opening round, but things obviously didn't go according to plan. A start crash in the MXGP qualifying race meant he didn't even complete a lap and then got stretched off. Uh, the resulting injury was a broken femur, which will see him out of action for a very long time. Van Donink was taken straight to a local hospital, but it was the beginning of a bad nightmare. Uh, once he arrived at the hospital, they immediately began pumping him with morphine. They hammered a pin into his femur to keep things aligned for surgery uh, without anesthesia. So according to his team manager, Brent had claimed that was the most pain he had ever experienced. Uh, come to find out the hospital didn't have the materials to do the surgery. They told Brent he had to wait there over the weekend so they could order the materials. Then when the materials didn't come in, they transferred him to another hospital. He arrived and had to pay thousands of dollars cash to get it done. And according to his team manager, it was a very dirty hospital and a dirty doctor. Uh, I guess, I don't know, man. I don't know where they were. But yeah, so an already bad situation turned to worse. Uh, they said the first night there, he slept on a stretcher in a hallway. His mechanic stayed by his side, gave him food, water, uh, as the hospital wasn't helping him. They promised they would do the surgery the next day, so I believe this is Monday or Tuesday now, and it ended up being Friday that they completed the surgery. Five whole days sitting in a hospital with a broken femur, most likely an excruciating pain. Probably not many drugs given to him. Uh, so, horrible situation, a horror story for sure. Here's a little update clip on Van Donink that was published by the Belgian media company Het Belang Van Limburg. I'm sorry if that ain't accurate. Uh, anyway, the English subtitles aren't perfect. The program I used to put the English on there didn't pick everything up. Uh, it's enough to get the message, though. You can read most of it, so here's that. Motocrosser Brent van Donink heeft in Argentinië een horrorweek achter de rug. Hij crashte zwaar in een kwalificatierace en brak er zijn dijbeen en ontwrichtte zijn voet. Dat is al erg genoeg, maar de echte nachtmerrie die moest nog beginnen in het ziekenhuis. Uh, hoe dat ze dat met, met, met mij omging, uh, die dochter daar van uh, het ziekenhuis in Villa Angostura daar, kort bij de baan, dat was echt wel een, 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 een veearts, gelijk ze zei. En dat was echt zonder medelijden of op. of. Dat ze dan mijn gat en mijn been boden daar zonder uh, verdoving, maar dat vond ik nog niet het ergste. Bij mij, het, het was meer mentaal dat, dat, ik, dat ik er weer uit lag, dat ik weer gekwetst was. Dat deed mij veel meer dan, uh, dan de pijn zelf. De dokter was maar een vies mannetje, zegt hij. Hij had vuile kleren en hij ramde een boor in Brents onderbeen. Zonder verdoving dus. Het hele dorp heb ik bij elkaar geschreeuwd, herinnert hij zich nog. Na drie dagen werd hij dan naar een privéziekenhuis gebracht, maar daar draaide het enkel om geld. Elke dag dollarstokken. Een week na de crash werd hij in de hoofdstad Buenos Aires geopereerd en pas tien dagen na de horrorcrash is hij terug in België. Maar hij denkt nu al aan zijn terugkeer in juli in Limburg. All right, so all I can say after all this is what a freaking horror show, man. I can't imagine what he's gone through. Uh, let me know what you guys think about Van Donink's awful Argentina experience. He said he will not be traveling across uh, the world to do those races anymore. Uh, so, obviously, he's traumatized by the situation. But, yeah, let me know what you guys think about this. Anyway, that's all we got for the day. Head to my sponsor, bloodlubricants.com. Go support them. Use my code TMN25. They support the sport. They support me. Go support them and give back. Uh, and don't forget to snag a copy of my magazine. I got to get rid of these issue number sevens. Only got a small stack left. So head there and get that. Links in the description for both of those things. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.